in again. Okay, absolutely. And we're talking to Paul Watson about his article, CIA-linked Intel Center releases highly suspicious bin Laden tape. We now have more of these fake New York raids where they admit, oh, these are preemptive, we had no evidence. Turned out Cheney did those earlier and wanted to charge the guys under military courts. They were U.S. citizens to set the precedent to use the military against the general public. Under Bush and now under Obama, they've issued DHS reports listing that Homeland Security is for conservatives, gun owners, libertarians, Ron Paul supporters, anti-federal reserve people. So this whole police state is for us, not for al-Qaeda. Even if you believe al-Qaeda, admittedly CIA created, attacked us on 9-11, you can clearly see that the whole Homeland Security apparatus is being used against we the people. So we'll talk to Paul Watson more about that in a final segment with him on the other side of this quick break. And uh, then we got Charlie Sheen coming up in about an hour and 10 minutes from now. We're going to continue with your phone calls, get into all the big new flu developments with forced inoculations being discussed, and a lot more coming up. This is the GCN Radio Network. Stay with us. E Final segment with Paul Watson going straight to your calls and a ton of news on the other side of this break. Paul, finishing up with the latest fake Bin Laden tape, all these fake raids. Clearly, they were building up to bolster the official 9-11 story before Charlie went public. Now they're accelerating it. They make national TV programs countering us, attacking us. Uh, you know, They clearly are worried about what we're doing. That shows that we're affecting change and that we have a chance to stop these people or they wouldn't be spending so much time and energy going after us. Well, the, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq fundamentally rely on the official 9-11 story being true. Like Webster Topley says, if that can be denigrated and discredited, then it completely undermines the foundation of their wars. What's interesting about almost every Bin Laden tape is the fact that whoever has scripted it, and uh, all the experts say that Bin Laden died in late 2001, everything since then has been scripted. Whoever's scripting it betrays an intricate knowledge of U.S. political talking points that only somebody who closely followed it would know. Remember back in 2000, the, I think it was a London Independent reporter went out and met Bin Laden and was flabbergasted about how Bin Laden was completely cut off from society and that he didn't know anything about even major news that was breaking at the time and he he accepted newspapers from the reporter like it was gold or something because he was he was so keen to catch up on the news because he was completely cut off from it. These tapes betray a knowledge, a deep knowledge of political talking points, which is why the rhetoric contained in them is similar to the same rhetoric that we put out and that opponents of Obama put out. They're ascribing our criticism of Obama to Osama bin Laden as a means of discrediting it in the in the overall picture. Absolutely. Um, Good propaganda has to sound reasonable, too, or the public is not going to buy into the bait. It has to sound like it's a real critique. Uh, so these are legitimate critiques, but it's coming from al Qaeda uh, bin Laden, and so now it's discredited. On another subject, Glenn Beck clearly came out and said we had to have the banker bail out and it was good he supported the patriot act he said ron paul was a dangerous piece of crap as soon as ron paul lost the election suddenly he was his best friend glenn beck has clearly been positioned to manage and be loyal opposition for the establishment controlling the libertarian slash conservative backlash to obama and I get all these mean emails and calls. I can't believe how ignorant. In fact, I was reading some of the comments on PrisonPlanet.com on my open letter to Beck that just went up a few minutes ago that we're asking folks to put out. And they were saying, oh, Alex must work for Acorn. Yeah, we've been attacking Acorn day one, making a film about Acorn, exposing Acorn, selling books, exposing them, having Tarpley on. And you've got these fake mainline conservatives. See, we're already back to left-right. Now I'm a commie. 
Now I'm for Obama because I am pointing out that Beck is loyal opposition. Can't these guys understand that both parties and both movements are controlled? Well, it doesn't look like they can understand that because they can't. They don't have the attention span to watch a three-minute, twenty-second YouTube video where Beck, when he was on CNN, is saying that he supports the bailout, and then later when he's on Fox News, you know, every day he's attacking the bailout just because when he supported it. Bush was in office, and now Obama's in office. Yeah, he's counting on people it. not having long attention spans. And I'm going after Beck in a nice way to try to just point out to his followers that he will betray them so that they'll notice while he's doing it. I mean, he does it right out in the open. This is painful, Paul. I mean, I'm committed to defeating the globalist takedown of the Western world, and I just wish Beck wasn't a traitor. Well, how how can he be, quote, a libertarian at heart when he vehemently supported the USA Patriot, Patriot Act and he supported the wars of aggression launched, launched under Bush and continued by Obama? Those political opinions are not subscribed to by the vast, vast majority of libertarians. So he's leading people astray. And anyone that can watch that GQ video where he's stages the crying on demand and doesn't think he's a phony after that is just completely deluded. Stay there. Let's do five more minutes on Beck, then I'm going to the phone calls. Charlie Sheen coming up live in the next hour. This is GCN. Stay with us.